just because it says organic doesn't mean that you've like catapulted into this super holistic regenerative realm of food options. So it's so not glad really you said like, that. yeah, so I mean, true. it is where it mm -hmm. starts. It is, you know, that's the thing. What this, that's why when I talk to people, sometimes they're like, well, now what do I do? Because I leave them feeling like shit. Um, because the, the word organic, the word natural, the word sustainability, these things conjure up pictures in our mind that are not being met by the producers and the, the marketers who are selling them to us. So you don't really even want to, yeah, you want to eat organic stuff, of course. But like, if you were to describe how I would prefer my food to be grown, it would only be able to be described as beyond organic based on the options available to us. I'm not even talking about the actual definitions of them because anyone can meet the bare minimum of these, I don't mean anyone, obviously a chemical farm can't, but with intention, anyone can look at this list and say, all right, we will do this, we won't do that. We're gonna be an organic farm. We're gonna fill out the paperwork and we're gonna pass the certification. But there's nothing on the certification. There's nothing on the final price tag. There's nothing on usually the marketing material at the grocery store or anywhere to indicate to you whether or not this person has in any way gone above and beyond those bare minimums. And choosing to go above and beyond those bare minimums for all the reasons I just said, unless you're communicating that to a consumer or have a direct relationship with them or have made an added value product that's marketed appropriately like ours so people understand the value and you know the, the differentiations that went into it, there's really no profit incentive for a person to do extra things above and beyond because they get to just call it organic regardless. So at the end of the day, a farmer is really only making these decisions if it's what they think is right to them. Um, there's nobody making them do it. There's nobody watching them. The people who are coming and watching them are satisfied because they've achieved the bare minimum. Unfortunately, it's just the term has been bastardized. It's been completely sold out. And the small farmer can't even, it's not cost effective for a small farmer to get organically certified. Please jump in and correct me if I'm wrong on any of this because I probably, I don't know, but this is what I've studied that they can't, it's not even worth them getting, going through, jumping through all those hoops. Um, yeah. and, and, and to your point, it's not necessarily even that optimal anyway at this point, because you can get poisons that are quote unquote organically, you know, raised. And it drives me crazy. Even just take eggs. Okay. Everybody, well, not everybody, but most people buy eggs, right? And they're, now they're, most of them are labeled organic because of course all the big companies are jumping on their organic bandwagon, which is why it's been bastardized. But it drives me nuts, Jared, because just because the egg is saying organic, well, maybe the chickens were fed organic soy, Big flipping deal. We're not supposed to eat soy. Soy is not a real food product. So the fact that it's organic and people are, they're just, they're, they're hoodwinking everybody by just throwing that label on and people mindlessly, you know, just think, oh, then it's healthy, but not necessarily. Organic is not a panacea. Yeah, organic as it relates to animals means that they were fed organic food. There you go. So the clever, the clever trick that they've done there is that they don't describe its living conditions. There you um, go. So mm -hmm. like an organic, like if something is, if you've ever seen organic beef, for example, mm -hmm. that's a little curious because beef eat grass. So what does that mean? You're now feeding them organic grain which they're yes. not even supposed to eat. It makes them exactly. sick. Exactly. And so now they've been fed organic grain and now they're organic beef and now they're a healthy thing, but no, they're not. No, because they're eating something they're not supposed to eat. Yeah. How, eat how animal. healthy would you be if you ate, um, you know, pencils all day? You know, exactly. You're not supposed to eat pencils. Yeah. <laughs> so like, my, oh, it's an organic pencil. <laughs> I don't know why this is true, but I know it's true because I've looked it up a few times now, but there's like a certain percentage of animal feed that is old candy like like waste candy products oh well they're, they're as you know they're allowed to cut out tumors and cancerous growths and stuff and still sell that meat because they're as you know they're sold by weight so the animals are just you know and that's part of why they're all given antibiotics because they're all so sick they never see the sun they like you said they don't eat grass i mean they're they're totally stressed out how healthy would you be in under all those conditions 
your meat. Each each type of thing, each you know, vegetables, you know, fruits, chickens, each type of thing. It really is worthwhile to just ask a couple questions and learn a little bit about how these things are grown. So you could just at that point make an intelligent decision. Like if mm -hmm. you go to the farmer's market, I ask this question all the time. Like sometimes they say organic or don't say organic. I just say, hey, could you tell me a little bit about your growing practices? And they'll usually say something like, oh, we're sustainable or natural. And I'll be like, oh, cool. Do you spray anything on your products? Like what kind of stuff do you spray? I'm just super curious and trying to learn more about farming. Um, and then they'll tell me and I'll say, oh, what is that? And they'll say, when they get to the point when they say, I don't really know, that's usually a red flag. Um, and then I'll say, oh, can I, can I look it up? What's the name of it? I'm just going to Google it real quick. And I'll say, oh, wow, <laughs> petroleum based. That's so interesting. You are like, good. all right, have a great day.